What's going on, everybody? We're back in the shop today working on the uh, short tail mud motor I've been building. Right now, I'm trying to come up with a way to mount the handle so that I can universally switch the handle back and forth from one side to the other. I've come up with a process so far that I'll pull it out of the vise. It's just a piece of black iron water pipe. I've been filing the ends down, as you can see, to uh, make it smooth, make it flat. Uh, where'd the piece of pipe go? I've already lost it. There it is. Got this other piece here. Got to clean the ends up. As you can see, fits in there. Pretty, pretty loose, but. Well, bye. Anyway, I don't have a lathe. I don't have machining equipment to do that. Basically just using Home Depot remedies to build things. Probably put a little bead of weld on the outside so that when it, and then keep grinding it till it slides in there nice and smoothly. But I mean, right now, not a whole lot. So yeah, probably cut this down about two inches. Uh, cut this one about two inches. I've got a piece of half inch pipe over there, which will fit my, uh, where is it? The old motorcycle clutch handle, AKA the throttle handle for the mud motor. Gotta be enough to fit two bolts, probably three eighths more than likely. And then a piece of half inch has gotta go in there, get welded, and then kind of make it look okay. All right, I knew somewhere I'd have some half inch pipe. I got a bunch of this crap lying around. I don't know what I was trying to make here, really. It did not uh, fare out well, as you could tell by the bend. But as you can see, half inch fits on there quite snugly. I'm back, hello. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. Now I found a wrench, a socket, really antique ratchet. Now that I've put this on here and I want to, there we go, as you can see, there's a piece of weld there, so it's keeping it held in place. But you get the idea of what I'm talking about. You can't over tighten these because it will strip the aluminum. I know that. Because I have one of these. That's got strip. But as you can see, that's tight. I mean, for what that is, that's as good as any handle you're going to make. And then you can get a bicycle brake grip, put a little uh, RTV on this. And you just slide your handle in there. Once the RTV seals, it doesn't come off. You have to basically cut it off. So yeah, I'm going to drill a couple holes in here. Hopefully get them lined up on this one when it slides in. Make two sets of them and uh, go right together. All right, first thing of order. Pull out the old Harbor Freight pipe bender. Put it on my very messy welding table. I got to bend up a handle. Because I'm using this as edge of transom, uh, this is basically how fi far this is going to be off the back of the boat. i got to make a bend that's going to come up. Because the boats we use up here are pretty deep. They're V-bottom boats, so we put plank in. So they stand up about four inches off the bottom, so you can stand flat. So I'm going to say the handle needs to come to roughly about here. And it's going to be, because he likes to stand in the back, we're going to make it roughly about uh, probably three three feet long and he's also left-handed so basically we're gonna put the we're gonna put the handle on this side for right now and if we need to we'll change it later the biggest issue i'm running into is this oil plug right here because there's one on each side i don't have to worry about draining the oil anytime soon it's just i don't want to have to cut this down i could put a put a plug in there like an actual pipe plug but basically i'm thinking two and a half inches roughly on the edge of that oh, yeah. about two and a half inches if I make that three inches so it hangs out a little bit. Because basically what's going to happen is... Oh, yeah. Basically going to weld this. i got to weld it up here is the issue. And because it's a piece of steel... Because I didn't make this right when I originally put this together. I should have made this higher. And I still have time to lift this up. But the issue is I've got to deal with a bunch of crap by doing it. Uh, I didn't leave this wide enough for this to sit on so basically i've got to make a plate that will mount this right here oh i'm not even zoomed out there we go that'll help so basically i gotta make a plate that comes off here probably take a piece of angle iron actually and that'll center that but the issue i think it'll hit this bolt so it's got to come up so i'm thinking basically weld the piece of angle iron on there that'll give me a flat edge to raise this up and it'll push it off a hair. I don't have any way to do all this with one hand really. Basically do that.
don't mind the sound of the welder, I just don't feel like turning it off. Got this piece of angle iron, a couple small tack welds holding it in right now. It's straight to the metal anyway. I, I put my magnets on there. There it is. All right. So as you can see, that plug's not gonna fit by there. It might be a possibility I might have to take it out and cut it or get a plug that fits in there. But I'm gonna cut this pipe down now. And once I do that, I'm gonna cut the other pipe down. We're gonna tack them and then we're gonna drill them. And this will fit in here and will still clear everything. It's tack weld in place. Basically right where this top tack weld is right there. I'm gonna put a piece of angle iron across it, mark my center line, put two dents about a half inch from each side. We can use 5 16 bolts. That way when the bolt presses down, it'll be right in between these two points. All right, I forgot to film the bending of the handle, but I didn't really do all that much exciting stuff. I didn't get a video of the drilling of this either, but you get the idea. Basically marked a line, drilled a hole, and I tacked that piece of pipe in there, drilled a hole through it, ground the welds out, pushed the pipe out, cleaned the welds up, bent a handle, slid it in, tacked it. I mean, it's nothing fancy. I then went back in and just drilled through that pipe. So once that's filled, there'll be these bolts that'll not only hold it, these bolts will not only hold it to this piece of steel here, but they'll also hold it through the handle itself. So even if the welds were to break for some strange reason, the handle's not gonna come out. But we got the clutch clutch pedal on there. I guess the biggest thing, because I can't really bend this thing forward right now, as you see, it's quite flexy, but uh, once it's all welded up is the ability, because I think I'm going to put also a brace from here up to here, just like a little arching piece, or maybe maybe this is where the, uh, the shifter mounts. Maybe I'll make a bracket that comes up, and the shifter will come up a little bit higher, and then this will just act as a support bracket for right here, and I'll just weld a piece of steel in here and bring it up here or I guess I could actually go into where the old this old I don't know what the circuit breaker or something like that I can go off that hole right there go straight down it's just something to add a little bit extra support to this setup all right I just went in and I made this little bracket here this was a piece of just random like thinner steel plate lying around the shop put a little bend into it that angle was already cut so it worked out right I pulled that circuit breaker off. I had already cut the wires for the low oil sensor because when you have that in the block, especially when you're doing a lot of uh, shallow water running, you tend to lean the motor forward, it shuts the motor off, which you don't want to do that while you're you know, duck hunting. So you just cut those off. It doesn't really matter. Took that old circuit breaker. I didn't need it. I don't know if it was a circuit breaker or what it was, to tell you the truth. Uh, I just threw it in the trash. So that bracket bolts in there. I took the uh, old wires. I just put a quick spade connector on there. Really ugly, but it's all it needs to shut off the motor now. I've got to put a couple tack welds on there. I cut this washer down, as you can see. Uh, just put in the vise and hit it with the file a few times. It hasn't been tack welded in yet, but bolt's going to go up. When the, when the main mounting bolt for the motor goes up through it, that'll tighten down. That'll hold it. So, you know, it's going to get tack welded right there. And it's filed on the opposite side, as you can see. So when the motor slides out, it'll clear everything. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Instagram, The Redneck Craftsman. Link is in the bio. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys later.